I'm Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com. Today's flute tip is on learning how to breathe deeply and quickly. So if you've been working on breathing, I bet you have found that you can breathe really expertly, meaning deep, expanding both, tightening your muscles, creating that support system at the beginning of your pieces or say after a long rest. But can you do that? Can you breathe properly in the middle of the piece when you have to just grab those fast little breaths because otherwise when you're playing with the piano, you'll add an extra beat? Well, let's talk about how you do that because that's a different beast. And I bet that if you were to see me perform, you'd say, wait, that looked like a quick shallow breath because definitely from time to time that still happens because of old habits that I am still working on breaking. And if I don't work really hard when I'm practicing to make sure that these quick breaths are from below, every once in a while a wrong kind of breath will come out. And if I have a wrong type of breath, it's going to affect my tone and it's going to create tightness. It just does. Why? Uh, probably because it stiffens up your throat when you're taking the shallow breaths. And just by taking a shallow breath, this all gets tight. Um, and so that's going to come out in my tone. Whereas if I take a fast, deep breath, it's going to open up all my tone quality and keep me loose for the rest of the piece, especially if it's like at the beginning of the piece. I don't want to get tight right then. All right, how do you work on that? So I'm not going to explain about how you breathe properly. I have plenty of videos on that type of thing. But let's just talk about how you're going to practice it in the middle of the piece. So if I do it wrong, I mean, this, is, uh, this way is not the right way, OK? <laughs> There was two phrases when I had a whole beat rest, I breathed deeply, but the quick little breaths in the middle of those two phrases were all chest. Could you see this moving when that happened? All right. Now all that did was every time I took a breath, I took in less air and less air because as I take those shallow breaths, uh, I can't take as much air in. And if I don't have as much air, if a phrase coming up, is long, I'm not going to make it. Just like in that second phrase, I almost didn't have enough air to make it to the end. I had it, but I felt it really running out at that point. So let's talk about how you're going to work at breathing deeply. So first thing I'm going to do is stop completely when I need to take that breath. Take a good one. so much air left over because I took those long full breaths that I could have played yet another phrase with that breath that I still had without even breathing again. But I trained myself. I'm going to stop every time I need the breath because I want to train that into my system that every time I need to breathe, I do a deep one. Let me cue, cue you in to something that we think is impossible. That short chest, shallow breath that we think is so fast isn't any faster than taking a long, uh, not a long one, but a full, full real breath. Now I'm going to play it in time and I'm going to take it the deep breath, the real breathing. Now I 
took a full breath, I took it deep, I expanded the rib cage and the stomach on all, I think there were three breaths in there, every time, and I didn't lose, I didn't lose the beat. That proves that you can take that real breath every time. It's just that you have to train yourself. So what I would do is just what, what I showed you, just stop, take the breath and go on, stop, take the breath and go on. You do that enough and you're going to start feeling because here, here's the thing. You don't even feel that you're taking the wrong kind of breath. So many of my students are just like, do, I said, do you know that you didn't take the right kind of breath in the middle? Like, well, no, I did. I took the right kind because they started off with the right kind of breath where they really filled up, they had support and all that. But when they take that really fast chest breath, there's the support goes out the window. You don't really have it anymore. So you have to train yourself. And if you stop and take time to take that breath and then go a little bit faster and still take that breath, uh, what you do is you train yourself. It's practicing. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So if you practice perfectly with the breathing, then you're going to know when you took the wrong breath and you'll be able to fix it but we have to train our ear, train our body to feel what it's like to breathe properly and quickly. And you can do that. So work on that. It's so important and it's going to give you so much more freedom. You're going to feel like you're running out of air all the time. And also I find if I'm playing a lot, really practicing, and I've taken a lot of shallow breaths, I'm really tired up here. It, I don't know if that's everybody, if it's just me, but it gets tiring. And if I take the real breath, the deep support, I don't ever get that tired feeling in my chest area. So uh, I think, I don't know, you have to tell me, does anybody else get that feeling if you've been playing a lot and breathing the wrong way? Uh, but practice that. Practice breathing along with the notes that you're practicing. Notes, rhythm, breathing, articulation, it's all part of the practice process. So use that experiment, try it, make it work for you, and you'll be so glad you did. That's today's flute tip.